Watch this video if you find yourself in the position of trying to move your website from Squarespace 7 to 7.1. I'll address everything you need to know about migrating from the old platform to the new one, including your blog. If you're new around here, I'm Phil. Welcome to my channel. I share practical advice to look good online. Consider subscribing for more videos just like this one about Squarespace and more. Hit that bell to be notified when I post next. Now it's time to get started with the tutorial. Now I'm sharing my screen as we start this tutorial to point out a few things. If this is something you start with on Google and you type in, you know, migrating website from 7 to 7.1 or moving from Squarespace version to uh, 7 to 7.1, this article from Squarespace will come up for you this support article and you're going to notice right away this is a very long-winded way of saying there's no official way to migrate your website very frustrating I know I am going to show you a few tricks in this um, tutorial that Squarespace doesn't mention I learned by simply doing one thing to point out you can import products from one site to another so not pages or blog posts per se but you can import products they make that easy you would just export your products to a CSV and then import them to your 7.1 site, okay? What they're basically saying here is that you need to recreate your site's content, which sounds like a lot of work, and it probably is. However, if you're building the same website over on 7.1, it's actually not going to take you probably as long as you think. A lot of the time of web design goes into thinking about what you want, but if you're simply recreating or making a few small modifications, it's actually not that bad. Okay, and I know from experience having done this for a few clients. I recently, so at the time of recording this tutorial I recently migrated well quote migrated my site from 7.0 to 7.1 now I did make a lot of changes as you can see here okay I made a lot of changes this was a good opportunity to update my site design one of the things that bothered me was I thought how am I going to get my blog posts over you can't recreate blogs I mean you could manually but you'll lose things like comments user generated comments you know through discuss or even through the native word uh, Squarespace you know plugin for for facilitating comments I didn't want to lose that so I had a little workaround for blog posts okay so once again I did recreate the site content that I wanted to keep under the pages as you'll see here okay but what I did was I actually found a way to migrate my blog posts over. Squarespace does not let you migrate, um, import, or export website content from one Squarespace site to another, okay? So if we go to Settings, we go to Advanced, and here you'll see Import and Export. Notice, if we go to Export our site content, it only says WordPress, and I thought, hmm pretty silly that Squarespace makes you use their competitor to get this done but that's exactly what I did was I created a WordPress website to export my blog posts so your it could be a blog you could also be using a blog as a podcast content type right depending on how you use them this does work I can confirm that this does work because I recently did it so what I did was I exported my blogs to WordPress created a free WordPress site wordpress.com I don't use WordPress I'm not a fan of WordPress but I'll tell you I was grateful that it worked for this exercise okay in this example I had just done this so I'm showing you the blog posts that were migrated over onto WordPress by importing this content type okay so I exported it from 7.0 here under your settings go to import export then in WordPress then in WordPress you would simply import that uh, content and then what you want to do is you want to export the content from WordPress back to your Squarespace 7.1 website so I'm gonna go here and show you where settings advanced and then import export same place on 7.1 and you would simply click import WordPress now I want to note something the basic setup did not work for me when I typed in my URL my login and password it did not move the content over for me I've done this on a few client sites same thing I had to click advance here and upload the XML export 
from your WordPress website. I left this setting as standard WordPress, uploaded the file, click begin import and give it some time depending on how many blog posts you have. It might take some time. Totally fine. What it's going to do is it's then going to import your blogs over under pages. It will have them as not linked and it will show inactive. So you'll just enable them by going to settings and you would just enable it. It's going to show it down here. Disclaimer, the formatting might get a little messed up. Keeping in mind, you are exporting from 7.0, importing to WordPress, and then exporting from WordPress and importing to 7.1. That's a lot of migration steps, which means some of your thumbnail images, excerpt text, and formatting may not carry over. So set aside some time to do some formatting on those blogs, but I'll tell you, this is much easier than recreating blog posts, and certainly now you won't have to lose things that won't migrate over that you can't control yourself, such as comments. So there you have it. Like you, I wish Squarespace made this a lot easier for us. At least at the time of recording this video, there is no way to upgrade from one to the other. And let's hope that changes in the future. Squarespace, I hope you're listening. I hope this tutorial helps you. If you have any other lingering questions, feel free to comment below. I keep an eye on those personally. And if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a like and consider subscribing for more of my videos here on YouTube where I discuss Squarespace branding, websites, social media, always practical advice to look good online. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. And next, I'm linking you through to some videos that I think you'll find helpful, including my free hacks for your Squarespace 7.1 site. That's next.